this is Lu Chu from twitchoverlay.com and I'm here to, as quickly as I possibly can, run you through how to apply overlay files to OBS. So what we're doing here is we're starting, let's close this down, we're starting with a royal clutch. This, this is probably the overlay that has the most files involved in it and has layers of files. So this being, you know, a tiny bit intricate would be a good place to start. This is where we're going to end up at eventually. But for now, I'm going to remove all of this stuff. So, boy. And now we're in the wall of mirrors. So add an image in the sources box. And now BG for background, you can name it whatever you want really. But BG works for me. And we're adding the background here. All right, so that's our baseline. And now we're gonna add a footer. There we go. Now that, a quick edit scene and you can move this around freely. All right, that's gonna click or snap to the bottom here, to the foot, obviously. And we're gonna put over the top of that a recent cannot spell. <laughs> go back to school. All right, there we go. Recent follower. Um, by the way, these, most of these overlay files from twitchoverlay.com, they come in separate parts. So you'll be able to move stuff around or adjust it or shrink or enlarge in like any, any parts of these things. So for now, a recent file is gonna be added here. And they're all transparent PNGs. So in most instances, you won't be stuck having to put things in specific places. Of course, in certain certain situations like this footer, it's designed to be at the, at the footer. So there's kind of a cutoff point at the bottom here, which doesn't really, whoops, doesn't really bode well for the rest of the design. Like you couldn't just put it up here. I mean, you could, it still, it still looks all right, but it doesn't look as good as if you put it down here. So this recent follower box, can be adjusted, moved around. It's got a bit of a drop shadow on the text, so there's no real restriction. You can still put it over the top of the, the brighter part of the background as well as the darker. So that is pretty straightforward. And then to kind of round things off, we're gonna add a webcam. That's my huge face. I'm gonna shrink this down. And put it over here. And then on top of this, we're gonna be adding WC for webcam. We're gonna be adding one of these. So I'm gonna go for the 16 by nine, which is basically an aspect ratio. This is what most newer webcams use, I think. Anything 720 and above will probably use this. Whereas, let me enlarge in this a tiny bit so it fits nicely. All right, yeah, so this is 16 by nine. Four by three is like a more boxy kind of view. So this is 16 by nine where my hands are. Four by three is like probably about here. And then the height is the same. So if you've got an older webcam or you just like using a more square kind of formatted webcam, then four by three is probably gonna be a lot better off for you. Now, just to round this off and make this look like a fully fledged overlay, we'll bring in the header there and that's it, we're done. So if you wanted to add game capture to this, you would just make sure you add it above the background, but below all the other aspects of 
the scene and it's literally as simple as that I mean it's not rocket science it's it's really quite straightforward however if you are on, sorry I can't speak if you're on an Xbox or a PlayStation 4 and you stream directly from those consoles you won't be able to use an overlay you can only use an overlay if your console is feeding into like a game capture card which is then going into your PC and being used with OBS or or one of the X splits that's a bit more a bit more fully fledged, got a few more features. Because I know one of the X splits is essentially the same as OBS. It has like the sources that allows you to add multiple layers and things. Whereas one of the one of the X split things is called Gamecaster, I think. And it only allows you to add one image over the top of stuff. So if that is the case, then you might need to invest in like professional customization or something from Twitch Overlay. Because then I can just put them all together based on your needs. But most of the time people people are fine with having the individual files. If anything, they prefer that. And I mean, that's, that's it, I guess. That's everything. If anyone has any questions then you can contact me at twitchoverlay on twitter.com or using twitchoverlay.com forward slash contact. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. I'm trying to think of more things to tell you, but it's really that simple. And if you've got all the tools to do it, then it should only take you, well, it's been six minutes and most of that has been me talking. So half that time to put your overlay together. I guess last thing to say is uh, best of luck, happy streaming, and you know, be cool, boy.